Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of uh, Green Pastures Farms, a small farm with big dreams. Uh, today we're going to be uh, unplugging a combine. So, I did not film this. Uh, actually, I was in the process of making a video for it, but um, uh, I tried cutting beans uh, last week. Uh, we moved about 20 feet into the field and uh, smoked a belt and uh, actually a wrap, knot of the belt around the pulley and uh, tore it in two. I'll show you the aftermath after that. Um, I got a guy coming probably first next week to uh, work on it. And I put that belt on because it's a process to get it undone to say the least. So um, right now we're going to go and take all the beans out of it uh, or take whatever is plugging up the cylinders out. Uh, so. We're gonna see how this goes. Let's see, so those are my beans right there. I know they look dead, but um, I need a good frost. Especially with the old equipment I'm running. All right, thanks Super Manufacturing. I got a new belt. Oh. $90.50. Not a bad deal. They sent me a bunch of other free stuff too. Got a membership. Good people. Plugged them on my Instagram a couple weeks ago. By the way, look at the Instagram. Link in the bio. Yeah. Alright. In my futile attempt to cut soybeans the other day or last week, I did this. I wrapped up around up in here. Uh, it's a variable speed belt. I've got the cylinders plugged right here. Can I should be able to turn it with my hand, but I can't. So. Right now we're going to try and unplug the cylinder, mostly to get it free again. I got my mechanic coming to help me put the belt on because that belt is a lot more of a pain than I wanted it to be. So we're going to get this thing working and go from there. I got this thing greased and I did as much unplugging as I could. Uh, don't know if I got it all. I, I tried turning the I tried turning the cylinder right here, but uh, it wouldn't turn with my hand. So um, I'm going to assume it's probably still clogged in there, at least a little bit. So I got what I could get to, and my, when my mechanic shows up. We should get something fixed, hopefully. Excuse me. We replaced a couple of the knives. Uh, we didn't have any new ones, but they're, I've 
found some good ones off in a box in the in the garage so uh hopefully this should be good enough uh at least get me started i'll probably go buy me some today and uh probably replace them this winter right before i cut barley because i think i will need need new knives for barley anyway uh let me go put this thing up and uh See what else we can right. do. I'm currently out here in the fescue patch, and as I walk down the rows here, I don't see too much. Not much is coming up out here. Let's see, just down the rows there. Nothing. I see some sprigs right here. But I don't know if that's the actual grass itself, or if that's just a weed but uh, something's coming up I've got fertilized coming sometime this week orchard grass I ain't seen anything out here either fescue is kind of coming up once they get fertilized out maybe something will come up, up come up out here yeah there's something little green right there but I don't think we get a little if we maybe a little bit more rain looks like that out here maybe a little bit more rain some fertilized might help it over here though this green that's come out real well the patch right in front of us is barley and the patch over there next to the way next to the trees is uh, oats you see we come over here we got a good stand out here we got some johnson grass mixed in but it's all it's this will this will be straw anyway so it's a good stand all the way back there you can see their lines pretty rows out here I hate the Johnson grass being in it, but sometimes that's that's one of the things I really can't control. Yeah, we got a got a pretty stand out here. Kind of washed out right here. But, you know, something will come in and take over anyway. But for the most part, decent stand right about in here. We go over here about the edge of that barn is where the oats start and right right here over there is oats yeah, actually about right here and once again it's got a good stand on it I got washed out in this little ditch right here but for the most part something is coming up nice little rose here we're liking this if they uh, get a little bit more rain maybe the maybe a little cooler weather might help us some Get this all cleared up. We should have a decent stand of hay next uh, next summer. I think we'll do good. All right, guys, that's it for today. Um, sorry for the lack of video, as or really lack of action. We have a. I'm working with an iPhone. I'm not really working with a GoPro or anything. So once I invest in some uh, some good equipment. In terms of video quality, uh, y'all will get to probably see some, but for right now, it's hard to film with an iPhone and a and grease a combine. So, uh, once again, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, uh, follow us on Instagram. Link to that will be in the description. Uh, and uh, share us. 
and I will see y'all in the next video.